Hey, everybody. I am here with Richard, who is like a famous bodybuilder. And uh, he's a, a boomer Gen Xer. He's a late Gen Xer boomer. And uh, he has offered to give the group free fitness advice for seniors. And he's got a, a, a show called Championship Muscle. He he coaches the, you know, the weightlifter guys and the athletes and stuff on their nutrition and exercises, but he has a senior program as well that he does content and he offered to donate content and posts to the group to keep us stronger. So we don't fall down or we don't end up in the hospital. And, uh, I am going to just do a quick introduction, but if you see Richard on the, uh, site he is endorsed by me he is endorsed by the site and he has definitely agreed to give away some high value coaching for you guys for free and, and if you want to go further with him he's got lots of affordable programs that that he does and so at, with all that said uh rich i'm going to turn it over to you and you could tell our our boomers um maybe some of the things that they should look at nutrition and exercise and Mm -hmm. what they should do. So sure. I'll, I'll, I'll let you have it. Hey guys, my name is Richard. Um, I'm a boomer, just like you. I've tried to age as gracefully as possible, but you know, mother nature does her own thing and you got to be able to work with mother nature. The biggest thing that you really have to be cognizant about when you're aging is your diet and you have to have some kind of exercise program. I don't mean going into the gym and being the bodybuilder. And a lot of us were the bodybuilders back in the day. I was a champion back in the day, but that was back in the day, you know, here, 60, 60 plus, you know, you don't have the body you did back then, but you got to work with what you got now. And you have to learn how to train smarter, not harder. Put yourself on some kind of exercise oh. program that's going to stimulate your muscles. You don't have to lift heavy weights. That's that's ridiculous. You see all these social media influence telling you to push it hard and push it heavy. That's a bunch of nonsense. You go in and train with weight that you're comfortable with and just get the muscle stimulated, get blood flowing to keep you flexible so that when you got to get out of bed in the morning, you don't got to hold on to the bed in the, in the, in the nightstand to get your balance because you got some muscle stabilization. The biggest factor, when I realized after I turned 40, my metabolism slowed down. You know, I used to be able to eat what I wanted and get away with it. Well, that really changed. And I got diagnosed with type 2 diabetes, but the doctors never told me what the fix was. They just said, take this. And it was medication. It went from one medication to another medication to another medication, never once telling me your diet is the causing factor. I should have realized being a you know, champion bodybuilder was, you know, diet's everything, but I didn't think it had anything to do with the diabetes. I thought that was just something that happened because of genetics and family traits. Well, it's wrong. Your diet controls your type two diabetes, not your type one. That's a totally different entity. But if you're a type two diabetic or you're pre-diabetic, your diet is everything and you have to stay away from the complex carbs and the sugars. And in my programs, I tell you guys how to help reverse your type two diabetes. In 10 years, I put a hundred pounds of unnecessary body fat on because of type two diabetes and the medications they had on, they had me on. In two years, when I started reversing my type two diabetes, cause it's not an overnight success story. You just can't stop taking the meds. You got to wean yourself off and take other supplements to help you control your blood sugars. I've been medication free for over one year. And after the first year, I was off of my metformin and Trulicity. The second year, I got myself off of injectable insulin. And now I'm in my third year and I haven't taken any medication for diabetes. And I was like a 12 on the A1C scale. I'm like 5.4 now. So it can be done. It can be done. And that's. That's natural insulin. Yes. Level 5.4. Yes, I have. I am. I am technically a type two diabetic. You can always go back to being a type two diabetic requiring medicine. 
if you don't follow a healthy lifestyle, a healthy diet. But you stay on a healthy diet, you keep your A1C down, you're not going to need those medications. I take natural supplements that regulate my blood sugar. And I take All right, everybody, we're going we're, to we're gonna end this little introduction because if you like this kind of content, we're going to be, Rich is going to be doing uh, segments and dropping them in the group. And then we're going to be doing a weekly show that's going to be concentrating on one aspect of your fitness life. We're going to do five minutes every week because Rich is super busy with what he's doing, but he's agreed to donate five minutes on the podcast mm -hmm. every week, but he'll be in the group and he will be available. Now, you may end up talking to one of his assistants if you need to book something because he's out doing things a lot of times. But in the group, if you catch him in a post, if he has time, he's going to be responding individually to you guys and, and giving out advice in the group so that if one person has a question, you know that in this group, 50,000 people might have the, the same question. So, Rich, I really want to thank you and everybody look forward to uh you know socializing with rich and getting healthier and stronger thank you for having me thanks for coming on rich fitness rich <laughs>